Hey everyone, Chris here with two updates on Super Nintendo World. As even though we still don't know when the park is opening after the recent delay, that does not seem to be stopping the Super Nintendo World hype train. As not only do we now have our first footage of the Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge ride in action, but there is also a literal Super Nintendo World train. So let's start with that one first. This is a train that will run in Osaka starting today, and as you can see, it has been given a full Super Mario, well, Super Nintendo World makeover. I'm pretty sure that if you're visiting Osaka to go to Universal Studios, this might be a train that you take to get there, which is a really cool prospect. Now, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem like the inside of the train has anything to do with Mario in particular, but I mean, the outside of the train, it's just covered in Super Nintendo World mayhem, and it looks really awesome. So there's that, and also our first video of the Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge ride. Now we've seen images of the ride, and we've seen what it looks like in the line leading up to it, and all sorts of info like that, but this is our first footage from inside the ride itself. Now, just to be safe, we're not going to show the footage here, but we will link it in the description. But it shows off what appears to be the end of the ride. We get to see a giant stone fiery Bowser, sort of like the one found in the Bowser's Castle track in Mario Kart 8, and we just see tons of shells being hurled straight at him. And then we get a really cool Rainbow Road section which looks a lot like the N64 track, with fireworks and character silhouettes filling the night sky. As I was watching this, I kind of felt like I was on Rainbow Road. Like, it is weird how immersive it is. The Bowser part is one thing, but I can't imagine how exhilarating it really feels to just feel the momentum of driving down Rainbow Road with other characters just gliding and driving around you. It looks really exciting. The track ends and Mario drifts onto the victory pedestal, and we see some other characters celebrating and clapping, and then that is pretty much it for the track. Now, of course, I've just been describing it. Again, you can check it out yourself. We're just not going to show the video here, but it will be in the description. It looks pretty neat. There's even sort of a scoreboard at the end, so you can see how you did compared to all of the other racers. And yeah, that is it for these two recent bits of Super Nintendo World news. Very exciting. As I said, we still don't know when the park itself is going to open, but nonetheless, it is still very fun to see all of these details and tidbits emerge. So with that, thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned to Game Explained for more on Super Nintendo World and other things gaming too. Check out the content on the right for more videos that you might be interested in, and until next time, bye!